What's up guys, AJ here. Before we jump right into it, if you guys like these videos, do me a huge favor by leaving a thumbs up. It actually helps out a ton. And if you want to see more stuff like this in the future, go ahead and click the subscription icon and the bell notification to have them updated in your sub feed when the new videos go live. Oh uh, yes, I only got 33 stars because I'm not gonna the I'm not gonna jeopardize my mental health for the sake of getting um 50 chemo gems. I'm not. And as you can see, I only got like 4 or 12 chemo too because I'll be very <laughs> honest with you guys. 3.7 spiral abyss is an as an absolute nightmare like whose brilliant idea was it to put hydro majors and cryo majors in the same chamber together with two the the, the two beasts whose brilliant idea was it huh that's that's uh, that's an absolute nightmare and because of because of that, not I doubt any F two P days are able to clear this. <sighs> Anyhow, let's just let's just put um, jump right into um, Spiral Abyss three point eight. So um, blessing of the abyssal moon, fleeting moon. Within 10 seconds after the character enters the field, the character's normal charge and bludgeoning attacks will deal 30 increased damage. The attack speed will also be increased by 10%. Oh, attack speed, huh? Interesting. Oh, uh, this effect will be cancelled when the character leaves the field. So, um, normal charging, normal charge plunging attack, um, 30% increased damage to within 10 seconds after the character enters the field. Ah, oh, that means. 10, sec 10 seconds after that, 31 particular character enters the field, they will gain the buff. Okay, interesting. This is more like our main DPS thing. Where is it? Okay, let's check out every single floor first. It is very likely that floor 9 and um, floor 10 is gonna be the same. The same just to, let me just double check. Yeah, so I think it's pretty much the same. Floor 10, uh, lens made or spread or everywhere, yeah, duration, actually gonna open us, yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, I think it's the same. It's, a, it's pretty much the same shit. Yeah, same. Shit. Yeah, I see this, I, this, I see this Electro Abyss Mage and the Thunder Helm Glove Watchers in the same, on the same um, half. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's the same. Moving on to floor 11. Ah, all party members receive a 75% physical damage bonus. Ah, this is very, uh, a very good advantage for you. Huh? Alright, let's just have a look at Chimo 1 first. Hopefully, it's. I hope it's not target defense. I hope it's not target defense. Though. I really hope. But if it's target defense, you know what? Just, just bring it. So the first half will be the room who's. I'm pretty sure this. Ah, oh. target defense progress. Yeah. And then I think the second half should be easy. It's just this, this, it's just this. This should be really, really the first half is really, really tricky. And then uh, I think like I think this should be fine. Because if the fight is four eleven, I think this should be fine. Oh uh, yeah, I think this should be fine. Four three is a. Uh, Ah, oh. flame and frost together. Interesting. Second half should be easy. The first half is really big interesting. A bit like the fathomless flame, fire element, and frost fall. Ah, oh. very interesting. I think I pretty much pretty much know who to bring in for floor 11 but I will not reveal who I bring in yet okay let's check out floor 12 
Please, for the love of mankind, I do not want to see uh, any shenanigans or those two beasts in the same floor or hydro mages and uh, cry mages in the same floor. I do not want to see that. Please, at the very least, make it at least a slightly, slightly easier than 3.7. I please, I beg of you, because. Once again, I have to remind you guys that 3.7 Spyro Base is an absolute nightmare and I do not want to do, go to that again. Okay, so let's check out Timber 1 first. Oh, you got to. With Hounds together with Fathomless Flames. Oh, gosh, this. This is the part where you, you have to bring in your monkey ass healers in, this, in, the, in the first half. So what's the second half? Oh, what? What the sh**? What the sh**? This is... This is... Oh gosh. This is interesting. Primal Construct? Together with the hatchlings and the, the Thunderhelm Lava Troll. Oh dear, this should be interesting. Okay, Chamber 2. Huh! Algorithm on the second half. Which means I have to bring in uh, an, elect an Electro and a Dendro character in the second half. Whether I like it or not, I have to bring an electro character and a dendro character in, in the second half of the see. First half should be... Huh, this half is quite interesting as an result of that. Let's have a look at Chamber 3. Once again, very interesting. Like, very interesting. The, the, the bishops from uh, Enkanomia will be in the second half. So it's safe to assume that all of the, the, the boss fights will be uh, around the second half. Then I think I know what needs to be done. Alright, uh, let's see this. Let me see the order in the case again. I feel like the first half has, has the Raiden. Yeah, the first half, the first half has to be Raiden. Mm. Uh, Raiden Hyper Bloom, I guess. And then the second half will be. Okay, I read it. Half. Even though I know, I know it's, it's supposed to be up. Uh, it's best if I, if I bring in Ula, but I feel much more safer if I bring in Raiden Hyper Bloom. <coughs> I mean, I could try, but I'm not gonna bother thinking of this. Uh, <coughs> Ayaka on the second half. Sorry. Ayaka Freeze, Ayaka, Mona, Kazuha, and Diola. Alright. Let's do this. First try. And they are only six. Hey! Whoa! I believe it's 80% Yeah, 80% Okay Let's see what this is 
Energy recharge again, because why not? <laughs> oh, there are two of them at the same time. <laughs> Oh. Yelan, thank you very much for the nice view. I definitely saw an overloaded reaction over there. Now then, on to the second half. Maybe 
Maybe I shouldn't use it, but that might be. Oh, it's on the other end. I don't know what else is going on. Okay, from here on out will be the challenging part. Let's do this. Okay, let's have a look at the opponent details again. I believe it's best I bring in Ayaka. Ayaka fits on the first half. And then, a Raiden Shogun team has been in the second half. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, I need, I, I definitely need a Pyro to counter this, this, these guys. Algorithm. I did say I, uh, it's best I bring in a, a Dendro characters around here, but. Should I consider being in the Raiden National? Okay, you know what? Let's let's go with the, the typical go-to teams that um uh that a lot of uh, of them meta players have been bringing in, which is um Ayaka. First up will be I'm uh, gonna try going with the Ayaka face team, which is Ayaka, Mona, Kazuha, and um, Diona. I know that the late I I know that the latest um Ayaka um feast team or should I say the the premium Ayaka feast team is um, Ayaka Shunhe Kazuha and um, Kokomi. But unfortunately, as you can see on on on, on my list, I that I do not have a single f I do not have Kokomi not yet. So. The, so I went with the second best um, Ayaka option team, which is um, Ayaka, which consists of the Ayaka, Mona, Kazuha, and Diona. And as for the second half, I'm thinking of originally I, I wanted to bring in Raiden Haiku Bloom team, but wait, I think I can go with Raiden Haiku Bloom team. I can, I think I can try. Because I feel much more safer um, having a character with a shield on my on my team, so I think I'll stick with Raiden um, Hyper Bloom. If it doesn't work, then I'll go with the Raiden National. Savvy? Um, Raiden, Yela, Nahida, and Zhongli. So uh, I mean, considering the fact that the uh, the all uh, this. This algorithm or semi entrance into matrix of Orbison network is in this is in the second half of chamber two. I might as well be in a, a hydro bloom team or some sort. All right, let's try this. First, let me have a. I need. A, There's a T in the bag, by the way, if you're wondering. Okay, let's try. What was that? 
Let me get over there. I'm pretty sure I cast a Diana Shield. Didn't I? I'm pretty sure I cast a Diana Shield. Didn't I? Never mind. Let's just let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure I cast a Diana Shield. And then a button. Hi. I'm pretty sure there was no, there's no quick. Oh. ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。ここに。
Okay, on to um, floor 12, chamber 3. Guys, okay, the first um, half uh, can be really challenging, but as long as you have a character that's a uh, very good fun crowd control, you should be fine. You should be fine if you have a, if you have a character that has a good crowd control like Azuha or Venti, or maybe even maybe Sucrose but yeah I think the best part of Joe characters are um, uh, Kazuha and Venti if you look at SE yeah if you have those, either one of these two you should be fine but if you are FT, if you are an FTP player you can just go for Sucrose alright so it should be easy huh? <laughs> I know I'm, I I messed up the rotation a little bit over there, but I think we get it. Wait, the girl in here didn't finish. Whoa! Painful, painful, painful. That was painful. Damn, that was painful. That that one hit there was really really painful. Okay, the snow is gonna cost. Okay, what the hell? I see where this is going. Whoa, I saw that, I saw that. Let me try it. Oh shoot. Yeah, I saw it. I, I knew it. I knew something was. Uh, I knew something wasn't right. I knew something wasn't right. So yeah, I knew that something wasn't right. Look, good thing I decided to. Make sure that I kill, try my best to kill both of them at the same time. Because if you kill one of them first, the other one is going to revive the, the one that already has been knocked out. So you have to like try and kill both of them at the same time. Or you could like take a really, really, really little bit risk by taking out one first and then quickly you're onto the second half. Which means you have to keep an eye on both of their HP first. But overall, this Fire Abyss has been fun. It's been fun, and thank goodness I, uh, it's, it's not a it's not a nightmare on like three point seven. I'm just thank goodness I don't have to go through that shit again because three point seven Fire Abyss. Once again, I was saying it's just a fucking nightmare. Who asked for that shit? Oh, thank goodness three point eight is fun. Three point eight without Shabra without is fun. Uh, Alright, I'm out of here. I'm legit out of here. Okay, Ayaka um, level 90. Uh, win rate 46.2%. Uh, quick damage 260. I think that's the only thing you need to die in my face. Um, <coughs> she's equipped with the Mist Spitter with Forge. 
um, requirement rank 5, level, um, level 90. 4 piece business radio stat. Um, quick rate to damage, quick rate to damage. Um, attack to set sense. Fire damage bonus. Um, unfortunately, no quick rate, but. Um, I'm like was I'm making it and I'm making move with what I have. Um, crit damage circle with a crit rate of um, 12.8%. Um, constellation one, triple crown. Okay, next Mona or Max? Um, Mona is a. I think the main one is. Uh, Mona crit rate is only 1.1%, crit damage is 122.3%, um, energy recharge 243.2%. Okay, the weapon she's equipped is the Treating Fears of Diamond Slayer because I wanted to activate the, um, the Heritage uh, buff where when switching character, the new character taking the fear has their attack increased by 48% for 10 seconds. So I wanted this buff. To transfer over to Ayaka. So, and then on to the artifact, she is equipped with the 4 piece emblem of severe fate. Um, energy recharge sense with crits, hydro damage bonus with crits, um, crit rate with um, crit damage of 19.2%. I kind of wish there's an energy recharge to be but. Then again, um, uh, Mona has more than enough energy to recharge, so it should be fine. Because the main important thing is, I want Mona to consistently um, activate her elemental burst. And as you can see, she's at um, Constellation 2. Uh, skill talents is um, so 6 10. Next will be Kazuha. Let's take this. Because um, Kazuha, the main important thing is his um, elemental mastery, which is 985. Well, and um, if you're curious, what uh, his what um, uh, uh, his quick rate is, uh, um, quick rate 36.1, quick damage 74.1, energy recharge um, 214. Weapon is the Cyphos Moonlight, refinement rank 5, which I got it while I was pulling for Nilo's signature weapon, I believe. Well, back when um, Nilo was first released back in um, October of last year, I forgot was was um, I, was it three point one? I think Nilo was released. Being, uh, I'm pretty sure it was in the second half. Second half of um, second half of the um, three for one banner. Yeah, because I remember the first half of the uh, the banner is Sino and Candace, while the second half is Nilo. Because um, Nahida was in 3.2 while uh, the Wanderer was in 3.3, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, Artifact is the 4-piece uh, Velvet Descent. Um, creates with EM, creates with EM and attack for Sand. EM Sand with Energy Recharge and Crit Rate. EM with Crits and Energy Recharge. EM circled with quick rate and energy recharge. Oscillation 0, talents um, 8 8 10. Lastly, Diona. Diona, I think the main important thing is her, her max HP and her energy recharge, which is 209.5%. Uh, She's equipped with the um, sacrificial bow, which provides uh, energy recharge of 13.6 substat. And Level 19, Repairment Rank 5, um, Artifact 4 Piece Noblesse, um, HP, Attack, yeah, as you can see, it is um, EM, ER, EM, ER, and um, HP, and her Sense, Hate Corbett, and HP are all HP percent, which and each of them have at least um, energy which has substat in it. And her constellation C4 Talents is 3, 6, and 9 Maybe she'll consider level, level this um, uh, skill to level 9 to further, to further in, um, increase her shield performance 
And that's pretty much it for my Ayaka Free Steam. On to Raiden Hyper, Hyper Bloom Team. I was about to say Hyper Carry, but Hyper Bloom. Hyper Bloom. Alright, let's start things off with the Raiden Shogun's uh, details. Um, crit rate 54.4%. Speed damage 165, energy recharge 256%. She's wielding the her signature weapon, which is the engulfing lightning, which provides 55.1% energy recharge um, substat. Uh, requirement rank one, level 90. She's equipped with the four piece emblem uh, because um, what Raiden Shogun needs is. Uh, three things: energy recharge, crit rate, and crit damage. So I try. So this one has to fulfill the requirement: crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge. This one is um attack percent, and this one kind of fulfills the what the requirement, which has some um, so crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, electro damage bonus. Unfortunately, this one's not that bad, but unfortunately, this one doesn't have um crit rate. I kind of wish that the flat attack is um, crit rate, though, but I've been farming for. Months, I believe, and I and to this day, right, I do not see an electro damage bonus goblet that provides energy recharge, sub key damage, and key rate sub that on the same goblet. Like, ugh, very fun. It sucks. And lastly, um, key rate circuit with um, key damage of 26.4% and energy recharge of 4.5%. Constellation 5, Triple Crown. Next up will be Yelan. Yelan's details um crit rate 67.0%, crit damage 164.3%, energy recharge and 196.1%. I think an energy recharge requires it because my Yelan build is uh, a support build. She's equipped with the uh, Proponius War Bow, which provides an um, energy recharge of 61.3%. Level 19, performance rank 5. Artifact 4 piece um, emblem. EM, um, I mean, for this one, for Yelan, I mean, for crits, HP plus, um, HP percent, and energy recharge. So, yeah. Uh, this one has no ER but it has crit and HP. This one has crit and HP but no energy recharge. Um, HP is uh, HP percent sense and this one kind of fulfills the requirement that I have one. Um, which, which is uh, it has some energy recharge and crit. Hydro damage bonus goblet. Okay, um, this one's not that bad but I would prefer if that this that that flat defense is pretty damaged yes. And once again, just like it does this is like in similar situation as a uh, mining children's uh, goblet. I tried farming farming for the hydro damage bonus uh, goblet which has which provides feats, energy recharge and HP. Now but to no avail. So um lastly um key damage circle that has HP plus of 19.8% and PV of 7.8%. No energy recharge. E. Constellation 1. Double crown. Next up, um, Nahida. Nahida, um, I, I built Nahida. It's, I believe mean, Nahida is a full EM build. Uh, EM 896. Hit rate 21 from fee, key damage um 71, energy recharge 173. She's equipped with the um the watering agent star which provides um 165 EM. Uh, she's equipped with the four piece the good memories artifact. Um that's E R E M this one also has E R E M and um rate to top it off. EM sand with energy recharge and heat damage. 
EM Goblet with Energy Recharge and Crit Rate EM Circlet with Energy Recharge and Crit Rate Constellation 0 um, 699 Lastly, Zhongli um, Zhongli in the main ability This is uh, 52.2 52.2 um, sub his uh, details, crit rate 2.35.6, crit damage 119, energy recharge 143. Uh, he's equipped with the um, black tassel which provides 46.9%. He's equipped with the 4 piece tenacity. Um, you can, uh, because for Zhongli, right, the main important thing is his um, HP and uh, ER. If you are building a shield support, Jaumili. The main important thing is HP and ER on the substat. Same goes for the feather, uh, HP and ER. Uh, crit rate as a, the crit rate is there as a bonus. Uh, HP percent, no ER after Jaumili. Um, HP percent, but once again, no ER unfortunately. HP percent circuit, uh, this one has any use. So yeah, uh, then constellation 1, talents 6, 9, 8. And that's pretty much my um, Raiden Hyper Bloom build. Overall, Spiral Abyss um, 3.8 is, is challenging, but it's doable, unlike 3.7. So if I were to um, give a rating on the difficulty, I would say about um, 6 out of 10, I guess. Yeah, about a 6 out of 10. It's challenging, but it's doable. So, so yeah, I think that's pretty much why I can uh, say on uh, D48. So I hope you guys can uh, manage to clear Spiral Abyss 3.8 with flying colors.